going on guys, Arix here, welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. The third one today, quite a lot of stuff I want to talk about, and in this one, I wanted to take a super quick look at the new layered weapon system. Now keep in mind, if you guys saw the update the other day, then this is kind of like version 1.0 of the layered weapon system, and they're going to be rolling out a subsequent update for this next month in April, and that's basically going to kind of give us even more stuff. So I will say, admittedly, right now, the layered weapon system might not be that appealing to most of you because it's not really going to fix the sort of boring weapon designs for those kind of typical iron bone variants. Obviously there are lots more weapons you can go after. Right now we've got all the Bracky and the Furious Rajang weapons, there's plenty of cool things to chase, but at least for those of you guys that have say fully upgraded basic weapons, then you do have a few options. See when you first jump into the game today, after the update, you'll actually get a little tooltip when you go over to visit the smithy and it says, layer weapons have now been added as an augmentation option allowing you to customise your weapon's appearance. Now you can obviously freely swap the base weapon and other parts to your weapon. However, it is worth noting that this type of customization has no effect on performance. Obviously, this is just a layered system. Changing your weapon's appearance in this menu will take precedence over anything set in the custom upgrades menu. So, of course, you know, don't forget in the custom upgrades menu, sometimes it will change the look of your weapon anyway. This overrides that. Of course, removing any mods will see the items return to you. And it's also worth noting that some weapons do not support this type of customization. So, if we then go over to the smithy and take a look at how this works, you'll see that when you scroll down to augment weapon and you want to go and pick obviously this doesn't work right now on weapons like these you want to go over and find say a rarity 11 weapon something that doesn't look that exciting take ogre's jaw for example the uh, great sword and you scroll down to layered weapons and you'll now see that you have the option to pick between all these other bases now i mentioned that right now this might not be that interesting to most of us because it isn't going to fix the bone iron variant you know you still got to kind of have all these weird parts that ultimately you know as monster hunter players we don't necessarily want to see however in the interim it does mean you can take something like the regular thorn bone base that might look kind of boring i mean i will say this particular great sword does actually look kind of cool but generally speaking work with me here let's say it's something you don't particularly like you can go around and you can say you know what i like the idea of throwing no gigante parts at the end of it to kind of give it some extra spice, some extra sparks, some extra like spiky bits, then uh, you know, you can throw that on and that will of course then change the look of that weapon. You go back out and that is now what you have to work with. We can then try that on something like say the Iron Hammer, the Kurogane. And of course you can then go through here. And we have all the different variants on the back of the iron weapons. So again, this is an initial system, at least for now, to allow you to somewhat change the look of your weapons. Now this is important because while it might not necessarily be what you want at this stage, again as mentioned there is going to be an update coming in April and they said in the, you know, we haven't necessarily seen quite how many weapons it will extend to, we don't know whether it extends to absolutely everything, but they have said this will extend to some more of the weapons and if you look at the flowchart they used, in the live stream, it specifically shows nicer designs like Velcana to some of the other nicer designs like say the No Gigante Greatsword. So this leads me to believe that you will at least be able to take these types of weapons and transmog them or sorry, layer them up to looking like something really cool, something like No Gigante weapons, Velcana weapons, and maybe even using some of the Rarity 12 weapons and changing the appearance of those. We don't know quite yet whether you will be able to change the appearance of like a rarity 12 weapon 2 or whether this is just used to fix these boring designs but either way next month this system is going to be getting even better so much like the kind of layered armor system where we began by getting the low rank pieces gradually into high rank and eventually hopefully we'll get the g rank sets this is pretty much the same so that's kind of all there is to it it is of course worth noting you can only do this if you have your weapon at the end of the upgrade tree so you can't just do that beforehand but once you reach the end of the tree you can then tweak it and change it to you know at least give you something slightly better than what you have right now anyway that's it that was just a quick look i just want to kind of give you guys a quick uh, showcase of the new system because it is a step in the right direction it is a step in kind of fixing some of the weapon designs we don't like too much so uh yeah excited to see what they do this next month of course once we get the update on this and we see exactly how much we can play around with weapons that i cannot wait to see also on a separate note if you guys want to take a look at the new pendants they have on sale 269's got a video up on his channel i'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out it's a look at all the new pendants you can buy from the shop so if you want to uh see before you buy so to speak then uh definitely check out that video i really hope you guys enjoyed that video remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload also don't forget you can check out 269 and paradise central streaming over on twitch six days a week you can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below be sure to drop by and get involved thanks again for watching take it easy catch you next time peace out